I uh, grew up here in the town of Perry Sound. I spent a lot of time on Georgian Bay playing hockey and uh, at the Perry Sound Golf and Country Club playing golf. And, uh, I loved being here on the water and um, spent all of my childhood here and then moved to London uh, in my university days. Um, did a schooling degree there and then was lucky enough to be able to move back up to Perry Sound and uh, work here for a few years and then uh, my wife and I moved down to Whitby uh, and I took a job flying a helicopter in, in Toronto and in 2007 that uh, helicopter I was piloting crashed in the farmer's field and uh, I was left with a spinal cord injury in my neck and um, so I now live with quadriplegia and um, my wife and I we moved to London uh, after my rehab started because my wife's family is from London and we're comfortable there. When someone has an accident that's tragic like his, um, they change obviously physically and sometimes they change um, inside emotionally and Mark, that wasn't a problem for Mark. He did change physically but because he's remained the same um, in his outlook on life and very positive, it made it easy for us to just stick through it and and get through it so yeah here we are still today it's you know it's been great the next natural thing for me was to get into sports um, with my new life and I tried a few like uh, wheelchair rugby which is a fascinating sport but um, on the rugby court I was sort of like a turtle amongst rabbits so I uh, moved on to another sport so I was curling and uh, I was lucky enough to be able to represent Canada at the Paralympics this year in Sochi well, he started curling four years ago after trying uh, wheelchair rugby. Yes. Wheelchair rugby was a little bit too uh, rough for him. Too rough. And he curled as an able-bodied man and uh, he tried curling and fell in love with it and it became his niche. Right. And he actually said to us about three years ago, after he'd curled for about a year, he said, I'm going to be on the Paralympic team someday. Mm -hmm. And he proved it. And he made it. Yeah. So we're so proud of him. Well, it's my first Paralympic Games and it was everything that you would imagine a, a Games to be. They were big and loud and fast and you're amongst uh, teams and people from all over the world. Um, so it's, um, it, it's an amazing experience. It's, it's, uh, it's encouraging, it's inspiring and um, you know, it was an honor to be there, to, to be part of uh, something that was bigger than me and to, to represent my country. It's almost like the ultimate thing. You got the flag on your back and, and the gold on your front and uh, the Canada flag raising up. And I mean, you're, you're hanging out with your teammates there and the, you know, the biggest moment of, of my life. And I don't know if I can put it to words, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's very emotional and very proud. And you have a lot of things go through you. <laughs> Mark's always been involved in sport. A hockey player, you know, long drive competitions, been involved in golf, and so actually didn't surprise me that he would uh, take this path. Um, who knew that it was going to lead to this? But you know, it's been it's been wonderful to watch him, to support him, and uh, encourage him from the sidelines. I'm motivated because I I'm, uh, I'm lucky. I, I'm I'm encouraged by my family. Um, I've met a lot of people along the way, a lot of good people that are, um, you know, in, in situations that you wouldn't call fortunate. Um, people with some pretty tough injuries, and I, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm lucky to have the capabilities that I have. And um, you know, I sort of represent, you know, some friends of mine that, you know, don't have that uh, sort of ability. That, you know, I, so I, I can get out there and, and do what I can do. And, you know, I was lucky enough to, to make it to the world stage.